Um, yeah, so how's everybody? Uh, like I mentioned, I think at some point um, <laughs> my working situation has changed, so it's going to be a little harder to make these videos. Um, yeah, so the idea here, um, the, 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 the interesting thing is this video is probably going to come out a lot later than... Um, it, it should, so this is Monday's The Old Wars. So it's probably going to come out till like Tuesday or even Wednesday if, if it's that bad. Um, but this is in addition to how long it took to make the, to get the, uh, actually I don't know. I might have released it. I don't know. I'll have to go check it later. Um, but it might have taken a while to get the uh, Aether Rays video up. Um, but yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. This might mean that I'm winding down my playtime of this game. Um what the reason this the problem with this game and fire emblem specifically is because of the server reset times um they're kind of hard like they're really annoying to deal with um like especially this game like you know you get a, you get out of work and you don't just want to like come over here and grind anymore you want to do something else with your time um but i guess uh what that might lead into is um I might get back into what this channel used to be uh, for. Um, though I took down all the videos, so most of you shouldn't know what happened on this video unless you've been around for that long. Um, which it's kind of funny because then it's like at that point, I said, like, "Well, uh, I just got a few uh, a decent amount of subscribers uh, for this content, <laughs> and I'm just going to leave this content. Um, I'm not necessarily going to leave it. I I'll see what I do. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely going to be more annoying to have to get on and like do guild wars all the time constantly. Um, but yeah, so let's just see where we are. Like, and it's not necessarily the guild wars that bothers me because like, it's just like an hour, right? And I can put an hour into this and, and do it all the time. It's the idea that you have to constantly be grinding, right? You have to constantly be up with your gear, uh, or as you fall behind. Uh, so that's kind of what, what what's up with that. Uh, but again, that's sort of me just complaining, and um, I don't like to complain too often. Uh, so just a, just a heads up, like there might be maybe less content. I might start to do different kinds of content for Epic Seven. Maybe I'll I will switch over into like uh, more like live streaming stuff like this, and then maybe uploading more specific videos, like talking about heroes and, and stuff like that, like the Zane video. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll see what we get with that. Um, but yeah, we're just looking here. So it looks like we're winning. We have 18 tokens left. They have 13. We're not winning them exactly by double, but it's a decent amount more. And uh, we're in place 56, so if we win, uh, even better. We'll, we'll uh, jump up pretty high, which is kind of weird considering like how easily we've beaten these guys when we've lost to people in like 200, 100 before. Uh, pretty hard, so I don't know. The matchmaking is just kind of weird. Uh, the thing I wanted to check before we went over there was my defense. Let's see how we're doing. Um, as always, I think, I mean, we're not being attacked, so I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's come over here. Uh, let's hit this tower, right? Because these other two have been taken down. So that one's down. I wasn't paying attention when I was clicking on these. I'm kind of stupid. Uh, so I'm going to hit this one, and I'm going to hit the other one. So let's just try to knock this one over. Um, let's see, what should I run here? This looks like I could just run this. Um, yeah, this looks doesn't look too bad up here. Um, down here, I think, uh, let's see what we're looking at down here. So that, Blaze Dingo. Is always an irritation, but he's not so bad when you've got what I've got. Unfortunately, down here, it looks like we'll have to bring you here. Um, up here. Maybe I can bring... Uh, where are you? Maybe I can bring Dizzy? Uh, actually, my Ravi is getting pretty interesting, like... Yeah, she's actually getting pretty cool. Um, all I want to say is, uh, thirty-five percent is is a lie. <laughs> That's not how much. I don't know. It feels closer to like eighty-five percent on her uh, her S one stun there, uh, from what I've been using her anyway. Um, so we need a healer down here. 
of course, problematically, we don't have... We need a Momo here. So she can revive, but um, we obviously you don't want that to happen. Um, yeah, my my Momo is just like I'm I'm relying on her too much, and I really need to branch out and have other uh, other healers. Um, <laughs> There's a pretty high chance like he'll just like one shot her with it with his S3. That should be fine. I've also been meaning to build my Kisei. Uh because she looks pretty interesting, but uh like I said. There's a lot of things that uh, are kind of out of my reach at the moment. Hmm. Uh, up here, maybe we can take you. I don't. I think this will be way too much damage, though. Is the is the main issue? It certainly looks like too much damage. Hmm. Down here, the problem is we don't really have a whole lot we can do against uh, him. Let's just go in there and see what happens. Okay, so this is what I was concerned about mainly. Um was the fact that we weren't going to be able to outspeed that uh, Tywin here. Which is pretty irritating. Okay. And he has enough effectiveness to do that to a plus... a 150 effect resistance. Um, it's called. So that's kind of interesting. So this is, like again, it's like... I guess I'm, I'm one of the first people to always, like, cry out... Uh, what's the word? Um... Yeah, just cry out like, oh, gear, uh, we're getting out geared here. Um, I tend to say that a lot, but uh, of course we're getting um, this proc. So not only are we getting out geared, apparently we're also getting out, uh, out RNG'd. Um, but let's see. Okay. Okay, so I need to heal him. Might want to S3 him, right? Yeah, I'm gonna S3 him just to get that on cooldown. And then we'll S2 the um, SSB. Okay. See if he gets dust double proc again. Okay, so he didn't that time. That's pretty cool. Let's hit you. It's kind of weird to me uh, watching. Um, what's his name? ML Haste over there. Like, of course he's got that much effectiveness. That's all right. Everything's on cooldown, so we're basically solid. Uh, but yeah, it's just weird watching ML Haste um, be a Soul Weaver, like being such a high damage dealer, and then suddenly just having random like uh, Soul Weaver artifacts. He's not like that high damage dealer. Not it's not what I meant. It's just that like the fact that he does he does damage at all, and like he has no synergistic like artifacts to go with that. Uh, they might be dead here. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then he's dead, and then he's gonna die soon. 
Okay, so that was fine. Um, that wasn't too bad. I was kind of concerned about this one, but I'm, I'm kind of I was kind of concerned about both of them. So we'll we'll see how they turn out. Uh, of course, we're gonna get this happening here. Okay. Let's hit you with this. See what I can do. That's funny because she has two lines. She has, you're not even fit to kiss my feet. And then, um, I did not know he could do that. And that's dumb. I'm not sure what, I have to go look at his skill set because that was asinine. Uh, well, there you go. That's what I get for uh, not paying attention. Let's go take a look at what he does real quick. Let's just deviate considering... Um, what just happened there? So he nukes all three of us, and I didn't mean to come here. I meant to go to the journal. Hero journal. So he nukes everyone. Did I get did I get RNG there? That's that's what I feel like has ha happened. Um. So yes, three. No, he didn't S three. He S two. On a random enemy, uh, so we got our RNG there, which is fine. Um, it is what it is. Not much we can do about it. Uh, to for, unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough uh, on the mouse there to um, leave, so I can have S ten A up, and we didn't knock over this tower, which is even worse because now basically someone's like wasting um, whatever on that. Let's see. So this team down here looks crowable. Uh, I'm liking you into this team up here. Um, down there, we'll do that, that, and uh, we'll do you. And we'll do, where is Ruel? We'll do Ruel. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Up here, we are going for... What are we going for up here? Well, I know I want Alencia. Who else am I looking at up here? Uh, we need more grass. More tanky grass, so we don't just get destroyed by... Uh, what's his face over there? Um... No, he's not going to work. Hmm, that was an interesting one. Uh, I kind of like Dizzy into this. And I should bring a healer. Uh, let's be yeah, let's be safe and bring a healer. Uh, I don't. Uh, I guess we're bringing Momo. Not a whole lot of debuffs, but it is you know it's fine. Um, yeah, it looks that looks all right. Um. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm, let's do this. Let's put you here, and then let's bring. Let's bring what's her name? Where is she? Here she is. Let's bring you here instead of uh, a Vildred. Let's see how this goes. Um, now I'm actually want to bring a Vildred into this one. Uh, dizzy, not dizzy. Hmm. Yeah, I have a. Let's do that. See how this goes. This is pretty decent, I think. Okay. So, unfortunately, my lens is a little too fast. Uh, we shall hit you, I guess. I'll just start punching away at uh, some of the waters here. And he's going to S3 him. Uh, oh, her. That's very nice, because now... 
She's a little weaker. Okay. Uh, of course, we didn't get the Alexas. Defense barrier is uh, no joke. Of course, as always. Uh, which is fine. So let's do this. So we got defense uh, defense up now, which is good. Somehow, we didn't strip anything there. That was kind of sad. Uh, that's mainly my fault. I, I need to. Uh, Boost my um. Need to boost my uh, Alencia's <laughs> effectiveness. She has like none. Okay. Let's hit you. You don't have defense barrier anymore. Okay. Still doesn't do any damage, and I got slept, of course. Now we have Misty buff. Okay, so he's awake, which is good. Uh, he's gonna fo well. Okay, never mind. That was stupid. Um, but I need a healer anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, so he's dead, which is all right, cause now I can do this. Let's see what I can do. Well, that was pretty nice. She healed herself, okay. Okay. Do I look like a pushover to you? We have not triggered his passive, which is starting to piss me off now. Um this this Moonlight Dream Blade is like insane on him right now. Uh I think Ruel is actually lower than he is, so he's gonna S3 Ruel. So I'm just gonna have to bite it and uh, do that. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I don't actually know how much health uh, the crow has. So I don't know how much he's going to S3 for. Actually, he's not even ready yet, so let's just hit you again. Uh, let's see if that was right or wrong. Okay, so it's fine. Yeah, that was right that it was that. So basically, I'm going to S2 her. Come on, please just die. Thank goodness. I think he's dodged every single time I've hit him. Which is needless to say, getting on my nerves. Like, um... On a degree that I can't even like describe how irritating that is. Uh, I might lose Ruel here for the salt because I think uh, that Crowl is just gonna kill me, but that's fine. Uh, let's see what this does. Okay, so yeah, that's Crowl's turn. He's gonna S3 Ruel, which is fine. Uh, I think we might have lost actually. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I kind of knew I lo I was losing. I, I lost, which is why I just revived um, Arbiter instead of healing herself. Uh, but you know, it's fine. I mean, when he dodges like every single thing I throw at him, oh look, it finally. See, like if I had hit him once, he'd be that easy to kill. But I, he has dodged everything I threw at him before now. Um, so you know, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Uh, now Alencia is gonna die because she can't survive this S3. Oh my gosh, dude! What did I click on? I accidentally clicked. I wonder how that looked like on the recording. <laughs> my my little screen got all huge. Uh, so here's this. Let's see what happens. See if we get the Charles counter, which we did not. Okay. So she's gonna revive her, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's hit you. Okay. She's gonna ask three somebody. Oh, she's gonna focus on uh, ML Crow, which is okay. Uh, we'll use you to kill you. Very nice. Immune. That means that she got the stun. So let's, let's keep track of how many times 
she either does or like should stun in this game. So that's already once. Her, she got the S1, uh, so she got one stun theoretically, right? Uh, we want to make sure you have your immunity up all the time because it's your S3 we need. And then he's going to be focused by the main damage dealer, which is going to be the, uh, going to be her. So we want to make sure she, he, he, uh, she's healthy or he's healthy. I mean, there we go. That is a lot of damage. Um, of course I got the counter. That's 4k damage, uh, and then this is going to be 6k. Okay, so he went for her, it's fine. Let's see if he gets the counter again, no he did not. Okay, here's, here's the uh, saving grace with her. She does this. And then everybody gets stunned, and then you just get jobbed into oblivion. Uh, one into the two. Okay, we didn't get that. Uh, so that S3 is like one of the more detrimental things in the game. Because um, not only do you get stunned, like if it happens, right? Not only are you getting stunned, you're also getting pushed back. So you're losing the turn, 100% CR reduction. So you're losing the turn... Uh, let's do You're losing the turn because you get pushed back and then you lose it So that's one whole turn that you're losing plus the stun so they have to go all the way through the, the CR bar again So it's basically like two whole turns you're you're uh, losing there And of course he's doing insane amounts of damage to her Okay, so actually so yeah, it's not that bad um, not, th not that it was bad to begin with so here we go. We, we ended up winning Theoretically, right? We should win. <laughs> um, oof. Okay. So we still have some HP to get to chew through here. Um, I'm not sure who's worse, uh, her reviving here. Okay. Okay, and then she's just gonna die. Okay, uh, so as you can see, my my Ravi doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, I built her a little more to be survivable. I'm gonna get S3 here, or I'm gonna die here. I built her to be a little more survivable. Uh, and I got the counter, of course. Uh, this is gonna be a nightmare to deal with. So I need to heal you up. Let's just hit him with the S1. Ooh, can't believe I killed him. Um, and we'll take a look at my Ravi. Uh, she's got a few updates from the last time I, sh I may have showed her. I don't remember actually showing her off at all. But she had like some really bad gear back then, and she still has some pretty bad gear. If I'm not gonna, if I'm gonna be totally honest with you, um, I guess we can just hit this guy and see what we see what we see how we can help out. Uh, if we can help out at all. Um, this looks like a job for ML Zerato, but I don't think I have enough, uh, let's go with ML Zerato and Fallen CC and, um, what else? We just need damage sponges, so let's put uh where's is Crow dead? No, he's not. Okay. Because this is like the max like basically he needs to survive and they're all gonna focus him. Oh actually they're not they're not. Um This would actually be a pretty good place to bring Elena in too, because all three of them are AOEs. Um, I 
I'm just going to bring him and hope uh, nothing too stupid happens. Um... I guess we're bringing G-Perg. We're going to focus him, then her, and then finally him. Problem being, she's going to be a huge pain to kill because uh, all I have is her. <laughs> uh, I could alternatively bring someone like her, but she's not tanky enough to, to deal with what's going on here. Um, so let's just get in there and do this. Uh, why not? We'll, we'll test out uh, how powerful Ravi is. Okay. So this didn't work out very well. Uh, so strip to a silence. Yep. And I got that counter. Uh, the important thing here is that... Oh, there you go. important thing here is that uh, he basically just provides a passive adamant shield with the barrier that you get every so often to make sure everybody here stays alive. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I want there. Uh, and you can't be like stunned or anything, right? So people, they'll just hit him and do nothing. And let's get him with this. <sighs> he never... <laughs> You guys don't understand. He never procs that taunt onto Zerato. And it is the most infuriating thing in the world. And he never procs this either. I'm not he might be immune to whatever he's throwing out. Thank you, dude, finally. I've lost so many fights that should have been mine off of not being not having proc that just because the game was being a dick. Um let's I'll just murder you. Okay. I'll show you how I do things. Shall we bring this to Oh, I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Just cause why not? Uh, actually that was kinda of funny because this is actually a really stupid idea because <laughs> now my uh now my Serato has immunity, which is like why? <laughs> uh that's alright, yeah, so that's fine. Uh from here he's just gonna die. Hopefully anyway, hopefully you can kill him fast enough. I'll show you my power. Okay, there we go. So that was fine. Um, yeah, I've lost a few times because people like Zerato just resists stuff, and uh, people just don't proc their skills. So that kind of annoys me to no extent, uh, to no end. Um, let's just do this. Uh, this isn't going to do very much, so let's just hit you. Okay, of course it's not going to stun him. <sighs> let's see. It's not too bad. Let's hit you. One of the most interesting things about... Uh, Ravi is while she does decent damage like with the crit is like she has a huge she gets a huge kind of like attack stat so she can kind of hit people really hard through their um through evasion which is pretty interesting to see okay one and not the other one okay oh cool and then she's giving me CR so basically we're all just getting free CR constantly let's get this to get the attack buff up and he got stunned cool Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Let's heal you up, and in the process heal G Perg up. This is, uh, it's just so great how Momo works. Like you can just kind of spread heals around the way you want them to. Uh, yeah, she's just great. Send him everybody with this. Uh, it's kind of dumb because Charles is already stunned and I'm wasting a stun on him, but that's fine. Uh, if, or not if, it's going to happen. Uh, when 
he S2s, of course I'm gonna get the counter. When he S2s, um, I forgot what I was trying to say there. Uh, the salt uh, is rising, you can feel it. There goes the stun. Uh, of course I didn't get that. Um, when he S2, when, uh, what's his name, S2s there, um, the, the the main person who's not gonna survive is gonna be her. So I have like a two out of three percent chance of of <laughs> of losing this here. Okay, thank goodness we have this. Like this is a full hill basically, right? More or less. Um, let's hold on to that until I get the attack buff, and then we'll burn it onto um, what's his name over there. Okay, so, which might not be soon actually, because it might take a while. Um, very cool. Um, yeah, it might take a while for G Perk to get his S3 back up again. Uh, yeah, it's still a ways off, so one turn. Just gotta make sure everybody's topped off, because yeah, there's there's no reason not to to heal right now, not to heal everyone. Because normally, like I have a hard time like keeping like certain people unhealed or healed because uh, of the way. Let's see, because of the way the heal works and like the baiting works. So sometimes I'll bring Jeeperg and the. Uh, let's see what this is. Sometimes I'll bring the Jeeperg and the um, regular. What's his name? Okay, so he's dead or she's dead. And we're taking this to the face, which is good. Uh, I'll bring Gperg and uh, ML Crowd together, and it's like I have to juggle their their HP bars to make sure that um, Gperg is higher, is lower than the ML Crowd, because otherwise they start baiting into Crow. That's not what you want, obviously. Okay, so here's here's what we're doing here. We're gonna soul burn this. See if we get a stun. That'd be that'd be amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess we're just legends, uh, right? We just like we're just too good for this game. Yeah, we're just too good uh, to copy a, a bit from <laughs> from <laughs> from Mango there. Uh, yeah, that was calculated. Honestly, I think I mean that's kind of I mean well that's that's what you wanted to happen. It's just that the stun was kind of like a cherry on top of that. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, that was at least somewhat entertaining. Um, some of the the more popular Guild War videos I have up are just me getting like uber salty over like the dumbest things ever happening. Um, so, you know, hopefully someone found some entertainment out of that. Um, her imprint is defense, which is kind of like the suck, but I mean, you know, better survivability. ability. So I guess it is what it is. I have had a Ravi since like plus 15 since I pulled her. She's like one of the first units I ever plus 15. Cause I've, I've liked Ravi since like forever. Um, yeah, she's like the one of the main units I, I wanted uh, since the beginning, and I actually started an alt account that I don't play on. I just kind of started it just because, just because. Um, and I rerolled. I think can you get her from there? Maybe not. I don't know. I think I thought I rerolled for her, but probably not. I might have rerolled for cigarette because I have cigarette there too. I don't remember which one. Um, but I, no, I, th I think I might have rerolled for cigarette, and I was just happy to have gotten Ravi. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so this is my Ravi. She's got the uh, exclusive equipment for the 10% chance to stun increase on the S3. Because the other ones aren't very useful. Like, she has one that gives her a burn chance on the S1 and then some other thing. I forgot what the other thing was. Um, but they're, they're both kind of useless. Uh, the 10% is no joke. So she basically gets boosted up to uh, 85%, um, which is, you know, basically 100%. Uh, like, here's the thing, right? The fact that you can't... Um, even at 100%, you can't guarantee. Like, at 100%, you're still at 85% because of the innate effect resistance, right? Like, you know, keeping effect resistance and, and resistance, like, to one side. Like, you cannot, at 100%, you cannot, 100 it doesn't work. Things that are 100% are a waste of your time. Well, I mean, you should still do them, right? But they're a waste of time, specifically for the reason that it's like, they're, they don't, no, they're not. The 100% doesn't mean anything because... There's still the innate 15% effect resistance, so 85% is as good as you you're gonna want to get it because, yeah, it's just 
it's kind of like when you when you're doing wyvern and it's like oh your effectiveness needs to be um 15 percent under 100 percent, so 85 is where you go um it's kind of like that with like basic uh skills right so that's kind of what i the way i look at it there um if, if i don't get if this doesn't stun with the 85 percent, like if there's a 50 percent chance and it doesn't stun one of the units i just kind of take that as like okay well either he didn't he gets stunned from my eight you know 85 percent chance or he would have resisted it if i did get the stun on him anyway so you know it's, it's a loss any, regardless right that's kind of the way i look at that um this effect resistance is is kind of nuts here too so she gets 50 percent plus the nine so she's got 59 uh i i re-geared her a little bit to try to get her more effectiveness but it didn't work as you can see here it didn't work out very well um yeah like there's better gear to put on her but some of it's taken up by my ssb and she's a little more valuable to me right now uh but these stats are pretty good i mean obviously you want like 200 speed right like you can get you i mean if, if you really invested decent gear into her you can kind of get these stats but better right like this three that you can probably get three thousand here maybe 14 or the you can drop this down to 12 maybe uh and then boost this up to like 18 and then have like 200 speed and then whatever a lot of people want to use her on uh they want to use her on counter gear but those people i think are kind of dumb uh because no one's gonna hit ravi like and if they do like so no one's gonna hit her and if they do hit her she's just gonna die like ravi is not as as you, you could see there ravi could have died like any minute with 1600 hp now that's not like the most but like it, it, it's basically irrelevant it's like oh you know she might not die from splash damage um is what the point of that is but right so that, that's something to consider is that like ravi will never be as tanky as a ravi uh, because a Ravi scales off of health, so you can just kind of ignore her attack and then just, oh, just give her crit damage and health. And not to mention, she also has an 830% um, critical hit chance. Regular Ravi has too much going against her. Like she needs attack. You like you. Could, she needs attack, right? She needs defense. She needs health. She needs the speed. Um, she needs the crit chance and she needs the crit damage and the effectiveness now, and the effect resistance. Like she needs every single one of these stats. A Ravi doesn't, right? So she can go without the speed. She can go without uh, the attack. She can go without the crit. Well, she can kind of go without the crit chance because she has the built-in 30% from her passive. Uh, so she, her crit chance requirements are lowered. Um, and, you know, you can just dump it all into crit damage, health, and defense. And you're basically solid because your health double dips into, like, like you just get more out of A Ravi is the, the main point here. You can get this Ravi up to like 2,000 something HP or something like that. You can give her the same the same gear that you give to Ravi, to a Ravi, right? You can give it to her, and she's not going to be anywhere near as effective because for one, she doesn't get the healing when she gets hit, right? So that's out of the question. Uh, for two, she doesn't have health scaling, uh, and for three, like a Ravi's actually like you just make her unkillable, and Ravi's still just going to die to like random water units because of how prevalent water units are. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, a lot of people were, were kind of hyped about her, and I'm just like, I've, I've had her since the beginning. And the fact that she has now stuns on the S1 is like, oh, okay, thanks. I mean, you know, it's not going to change much. She just needs, um, I don't know why they refuse so adamantly to give her health scaling, but it is what it is. Oops. Um, so I, I guess we're, I'm just sort of giving up hope on the on, on uh, A Ravi getting health scaling. So it, it, it's kind of whatever, who cares? Uh, regular Ravi getting health scaling. Um, and I give her this because, of course, as you can see here, my uh, terrible uh, crit chance stat and my attack stat. Uh, you can kind of patch that up with this. Um, it's not even maxed. It's just how little I want to max out a hell cutter. Uh, at 4% per turn, you're getting, like, you know, in, in five turns, which, can, which is kind of like what you get on average, five turns, is about 20%, whereas right now, f after five turns, it's uh, 15%. Um, it's not like the most, but it's like, eh, I, I just don't care enough to, to get the, the next 5%, um, on both of those stats right now. And then not to mention sometimes she like dual attacks and then it just erases itself. So, uh, so much for that. Right. Uh, but yeah, like this sword here got 30% HP. So that's pretty good for her attack speed and crit chance. Like it's all good stats for her. And not to mention like my Ravi is a little like worse in terms of stats because of this, uh, lifesteal gear. Um, you could probably just like this is just it's just because this is one of the good sets that I have that has good substats for her. 
But you could probably put her on like a speed set and it'd probably be better. You have like, you know, 180 speed. Maybe you could, you could probably easily reach 200 without focusing on so much of the stats that I have on her right now. Um, and, you know, the lifesteal doesn't give you stats. It gives you an invisible stat, which is like the lifesteal. Um, but the thing is, she doesn't survive long enough to make the lifesteal that you get off of the, the lifesteal set worth it, right? Uh, you're much better going with some other sets that'll like just make her survive more, like taking more turns or um, or just you know having more health or, or more defense or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, don't know what else I can show um, that I haven't already shown. Yeah, I mean that's really that's really it. Uh, I guess my Zerato came in kind of clutch back there. Wow, he didn't even have the right. He didn't even have the right. Uh, <laughs> he didn't even have the right artifact on. Uh, how's that for being uh, an idiot? Um, so these are his stats. 15 uh, KHP with 1200 defense. Uh, the crit chance is okay to be a little low because you hit multiple targets. So it's like if you don't crit one, you crit another one maybe. Um, of course, you, you'd still want it to be higher because you want to get as many crits as possible. But the AoE and the cleaving is like, ah, you can kind of like whatever about it. Um, I need to 80 this gear if I want to. Let's see, 20% or 90 this gear, 20% attack, crit chance, health, and defense. Uh, so this is actually a lot of health, so maybe I, I will, and then some decent attack. Um, he could always use more health. Right now, he actually can survive, depending on, uh, given certain circumstances, he could actually survive an S3 from a, um, Riolu, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and I know because it's happened to him before, so, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. My Acid, don't look at him. He's uh, he's naked. Uh, I'm still working on Abyss. No, not Abyss. On Labyrinth. On the Nixie Labyrinth. Uh, trying to get his gear. Uh, but I hate... There's nothing I hate in this game more than Labyrinth. Like, I'll play RTA before I play some Labyrinth. Like, <laughs> I just hate Labyrinth so much. Um, but yeah, so that's probably going to go on him. Uh, his main purpose here... I'm going to test him out, see if he can just one-shot Riolu's. If not, uh, I want to think about one-shotting. Um, basically, his main purpose, that I, the reason I built him was to one-shot... Uh, what's her name? You guys know who she is. Uh, Rowana, because I'm tired of uh, seeing her face. And not to mention, like, her paired with uh, Last Rider Crow is pretty good, because, like, he'll give him 10 speed, which is just free. There you go, 10, 10 free speed. And then uh, he'll snipe a unit. So you need someone to pair with Crow because Crow has good like AOE damage, but you, you kind of need someone in, in terms of when you're playing regular arena because people stack so much like um, basically just campy stuff on their team that you need some like very hardcore single target damage and then you need some uh, the AOE from that. So that's kind of my idea with that. Um, and hopefully he'll be tanky enough to survive uh, a decent amount uh, along with the, with the last rider Crow here. Uh, and if I guess if anybody wants to see the crowd that I have, um, this is him. Uh, pretty satisfied with the stats. Uh, the only thing I'm not satisfied with is the speed. Uh, you don't want to be out like getting outsped by a um, CC is like the worst thing ever because she just like puts up skill null, and you you have to S three because you need the scaling, and then you also need it to be on cooldown. So when they when they AOE. Uh, you're reducing the cooldown by more, right? Rather than it's just sitting there and not getting those effects out of it. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, it, it's it's always pretty bad. Um, unfortunately, the gear he has right now is kind of like I'm limited to to that speed. I could probably find a faster helmet somewhere. I mean, this is about as fast as I'm gonna get for this. Um, unfortunately, this is pretty bad, right? So if I had like 10 speed here, that's 220, and that's out, that's probably gonna outspeed most. Um, most uh fallen ccs uh i want i want to hit it i want to hit 225 with him because i think at that at that range i'll be more secure that's like oh yeah he'll take the he'll take the the turn um but yeah it's funny like watching people like i think i think and i think people are doing it in response to him like they're they're reducing a little bit of hp on their fallen ccs and then uh just upping her speed um which i think is a pretty good counter because like i said they just put up that like for one you don't get the skill cooldown reduction from your passive because she's going first so that's one a and she only aoe's once every so often so that's one aoe that's gone uh, off the table that's not giving you your passive proc for your reduction uh but not only that 
she just gave everybody skill nullifier so now it's your turn and it's like well you kind of have to so you go into it and then there you go you just didn't do anything um and not to mention now their barriers are also still up which is kind of one of the things that i liked about crow was like turn one if he hits an fcc team their barriers are basically all off because the highest barrier like at three at thirty thousand hp full and cc has a barrier of 45 uh 4500 hp uh and crow hits for like five to six thousand um on turn one so he just wipes that barrier uh if they aoe you which she's probably coming up right after him um now you have your barrier uh you can proceed to do you know whatever you want from there uh but yeah so that's something to consider um yeah i mean that that's 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 that i guess basically just uh crow and um uh like i said I don't think the buffs made Ravi like too much more interesting than she already was. It's just kind of like, oh well, there you go. Now she has a stun, and that's it. Um, some people were thinking maybe running Champions Trophy on her, right, to give her a more percentage chance to stun, um, which is actually pretty good, right? Because you're getting fifteen percent effectiveness on top of her innate fifty, so that's sixty five. Um, with a little bit more effectiveness, if you hit like 40 or 30, you're basically at 100% effectiveness uh, after you ramp up a little bit. And basically, you know, it's pretty good. Um, theoretically, when you add two checks, so when there's a fi when it's a 35% chance to stun plus a 13% chance to stun from the from the champion's trophy, they're additive, right? So having one or the other happen, if for those of you take statistics or probability in general, for either or to happen. Um, it's it's adding them. So 35 plus the 13 gets you up to uh, 48, right? And you boost the champion's trophy a little bit, and then you're basically at 50% uh, chance to stun, which is pretty good, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's not enough for me to run it on her, especially because, like the like I said, the gear I have on her isn't good enough for me to, like, all right, let's just kind of focus 100% on this. I need the crit chance, and I need the attack percentage. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you have the gear and you have the, uh, you know, you want to, then having a... Uh, one, uh, 50% chance to stun on your S1 isn't too bad, but like, you know, Dizzy exists who can, who has 25 built in AOE, and then you give her Abyssal Crown, and basically it's another 24%. So you basically have 50% chance to stun um, on the AOE. On the S1, not only just the S1, but the S2 and the S3. Uh, so, you know, like I said, it's, uh, it's a matter of like, cost efficiency it's like do you really want to invest all that into ravi um who's not going to be doing very well because she could just get like sneezed on and she'll die um i think no uh, but yeah so that's that's the way i see it uh hopefully you guys all have a decent guild war and uh, i'll see you guys next time